Director of Assessment Assistant and Assistant Professor of Developmental Writing at New Mexico State University. Thank you for joining us today. Um, Aaron, you founded and are Editor-in-Chief of Aji Magazine, an online magazine for poetry. And in your editor's welcome for the spring 2015 issue, you wrote, quote, it is a privilege and a pleasure to offer these pages to an audience of readers civilized enough to accept difference, to strive to understand experiences of the other, and to celebrate our human right to say and portray what we think, perceive, and experience without fear. And these words, I feel, are particularly apropos after the Paris attacks in Charlie Hebdo. So talk about how poetry or literature can be a voice of advocacy, and how you and your fellow artists are comfortable pushing the envelope. Well, when we started our literary magazine in the fall of 2014, really in the spring, we had no idea what we would get. We just knew we wanted to encourage a variety of voices and perspectives. And what we found was that we were getting work from all over the world, some from high school students. Yes, we publish high school students. And we publish people writing in English as a second language. People who want to describe experiences of all different types, including experiences in, in war. And so, because we are not paid, we're volunteer, complete volunteer staff, we can pretty much publish whatever we want. So we try to make sure that we have diversity in the voices that we publish, and that we do not censor the message, so long as it's not a hate speech message whatever kind of language the writer chooses, that's, if it's appropriate for the message, we, we embrace that. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, you also advocate for 